Hello everybody, this is Sherhan from ATA Live. How are you all doing today? Great to see you again. Well, today's video is once more about studenthood. Things that I wish I knew when I was a student at university. Well, without further ado, let me just jump straight into them. To be honest, I had that thought even before I started my journey as a university student. University diploma or the university reputation were the most important things in life. During my entire time as a university student, that opinion was on top of my brain. But what I've come to realize later after my graduation is that very few people actually care about those things. In reality, what they look for is what type of person you are and what you really know, not what your diploma says, you know. I now think I should have focused more, more on gaining actual knowledge rather than focusing on increasing my GPA every semester. Well, that brings me very well to my next point. If I could go back in time, I would definitely expose myself to as many opportunities and challenges as possible. I wouldn't be scared at all. Because now I am believing that discomforting yourself is the best thing that you can do to improve and develop and build yourself. I would focus more on gaining not hundreds of skills but few that I enjoyed studying or doing at that time. Truth be told, you can master any skills if you truly enjoy them. The next thing that I wish I knew as a university student is very interesting. I have had lots of conversations about this with my friends. We've asked questions like, is university really worth it? What is that special about that? Can we not learn what is taught at university by ourselves, by self-study, etc. The answers to these questions might be quite controversial, but one thing that I could drag out from those conversations would be networking. I mean, real networking. Making lifetime connections is very essential. I have ignored traditional way of studying and go out more with friends and focus on building that real, long-lasting, lifetime bonds. On top of all of that, I have enjoyed my life more. I remember once I was stressing over getting slightly lower score for my macroeconomics exam than I expected. For one semester, losing my scholarship had brought me huge depression. In life, we'll always be dealing with problems, and that's literally what makes our lives worth living. What makes difference is the ways through which we choose to deal with our problems. If problems are what are holding you back from being truly happy or enjoying your life to the fullest, let me tell you something, and I'm sorry about that. You are never going to get to that level of happiness of yours. Learn to look at the problems from different angles. That lower score that I got for my exam or the scholarship that I lost have turned me into a different person in many levels and in many different ways. But what I regret the most is the opportunities that I missed and the depressions and stress that I have dealt with. Though now I tell myself all the time having problems around is a good thing, only if I know how to deal with them. Whatever you feel important in life might actually turn out to be not that important later in your life. So why stress again? I should have done my best to deal with my problems, yet without all the sorrow and depression, but with rational mind. In all honesty, I feel weird to talk about this stuff, because it makes me feel like I'm an old man with tons of life experiences. But I'm not that old yet, now that I got that huge life experience. These are just things that I feel correct now. Who knows? I might think differently in the future. In actual fact, some of you might be disagreeing with what I'm saying. That again is a good thing because not everybody has to think the same. I just felt like sharing my thoughts on this and I just did it. If you listen to me all the way up here, I appreciate that a lot. Thank you very much. And if you actually liked what I said in this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I would love to hear your thoughts on this topic because I believe many of you are a student or have been student before. Please share your thoughts in the comment section below with us. I thank you again and see you next week, inshallah.